it's, it's uh, before starting to talk about the self suspension, I wanted to answer my most asked question on Instagram, which is how did I learn self suspension? And I actually learned by myself. It's a very long story, so let me know if you want a full video about it. But I learned, uh, yeah, by myself, uh, watching YouTube videos, watching people on Instagram, joining joining rope events, rope jams, and just observe people tying together. So in this video, I am doing a figure eight chest harness. Uh, instead of doing two wraps at the beginning each way, like each way crossing, I did only one. I wanted to see if I could save time because this harness is quite time consuming to make. It is very comfy, it is very versatile, I love it, but it's just, it takes so long. So I wanted to see if it would still be comfortable enough this way and it actually was, so I was pretty happy. For the leg, I do four wraps. I could have done two, even one, uh, four, it's just more comfy. And I tie my main upline in the back. Uh, I do this thing where I actually only need one carabiner because I tie my second upline to my first upline and then I tie my third upline to my second upline because every time I make an upline I have this I make this little loop and I can I can use that loop to tie the next upline basically it's not something I've seen done before I have no idea if that's an actual thing um, so I'm not gonna recommend anyone to do it because I, I don't know if it's something you should do does that make sense uh, it works really really well for me I love it because I change uh, shapes positions very often and it allows me to be very very fast at uh, tying my uplines then I will tie my main upline I will put it in the front instead of the back and I will do the same thing, I will tie my leg to this first upline and then I will uh, grab my foot and try to find uh, a shape that I like, a shape that's comfortable, uh, something that just feels good and, and it's pretty. Uh, one thing is people always comment on my video saying, oh it looks so relaxing, it looks so comfortable. But it actually is not 90% of the time. Because when I tie, I need to be 100% focused. You know, I use some of my muscles, obviously, uh, my core especially. And it's just, it's a bit painful as well. It can be sometimes very painful. And because I need to make sure I'm safe, I need to be 100% super focused all the time and I just can't relax. And I get dizzy when I spin. So it's really not relaxing at all. Maybe like, this is quite relaxing here, but I was getting dizzy, so I actually didn't stay too long like this. I think that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to talk about something in particular, I will be happy to do it. Bye!